guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul as you can see i've got lily here with me today ready to point she's gonna point for part of it and elijah's gonna point for another part you guys noticed my haircut in the last grocery haul lily and elijah both got haircuts as well she chopped off all of her hair just Not like all me of it. most of it a big portion of it just like i did both about around our shoulders so much better for summer where are you at bud you want to show them your haircut too I'm an elephant. You're an elephant. And this is my trunk. <laughs> okay, so today we went to Target and I got some things because Lily's birthday is this weekend, but y'all are seeing this the day after her birthday. So her birthday was May 30th and she wants a strawberry cake and Aldi doesn't have strawberry cake mix. So we went to Target to pick that up and also to pick up a few other like hygiene items and some things for the beach because next week we are going to the beach um like the 7th of june so next week's grocery haul will be a little bit different um probably not have as much stuff there will still be a haul um but it'll be stuff like snacky stuff that we're taking with us to the beach i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then i will show you what we got at target and then i will show you what we got at aldi Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. It's running from May 28th through June 3rd. So we've got a bunch of smoothie stuff and smoothies are perfect for summer. So we're gonna have smoothies. And then I'm gonna make some corn dog mini muffins because I have a ton of hot dogs in my freezer you see down here, like eight packs of hot dogs because some family members got some boxes of food from a food pantry and they've given me stuff out of them like three months in a row and every time there's been hot dogs and I've just thrown them in the freezer. So I figured I would start using those up and make some corn dog mini muffins. And I'm gonna make enough to have some to throw in the freezer for quick lunches. And then for dinner, we've got broiled pork parmesan pork chops and broccoli, egg toast fruit for breakfast, birthday waffles for Lily, leftovers for lunch, and then Lily requested pizza on her birthday. Then we've got cheddar sausage roll-ups. I'm gonna use the Johnsonville like better cheddar sausages roll them up in some crescent rolls have some tater tots and fresh veggies with that sunday on lily's birthday we are going to a dinner at my stepdad's house their papa and he's making brunswick stew pulled pork potato salad all that kind of stuff and usually i cook whatever they want for dinner but instead i'm cooking what she wants for lunch and then she requested to go to papa's for dinner then we've got cilantro lime chicken thighs with rice and corn on the cob and I'm gonna do like Mexican street corn, spaghetti and salad, impossible taco pie with Bisquick, and Cajun shrimp pasta and then strawberry cake for dessert for Lily. Okay, so the first things we got from Target are these two things on the floor. Elijah's gonna point for the Target stuff. We got this watermelon beach chair. It was 10 bucks, which I thought was a good price. And we already have one that I picked up, the, uh, picked up at the thrift store for like $3. And then I got this storage tote. It was only $6. I've been needing another one just for random stuff, but we're also gonna use that to take some stuff with us to the beach. We're gonna be staying in an Airbnb. We need food and stuff, so I'm gonna buy like some shelf stable things and take them with us in that like chips and whatnot that i know i can get cheap at aldi and stuff since the stores down there like actually on the island are fairly expensive so we're gonna bring what we can of like dry goods and stuff that we know we will need so over here we have the rest of our target stuff this stuff is what we actually bought today along with what was on the floor and then i thought i would show you these shirts because these are also from target but they're from an online order that also came today so i thought i would show you those as well um so over here we've got some body wash for andy and it's perfect because it came with a little travel size one that'll be great when we go to the beach but he needed it anyway i got a new razor for myself i haven't used a chic intuition razor in years i used the dollar shave club for the longest time but i am out of blades and my handle is like looking rough so i decided to treat myself and buy myself the chic intuition razor because i always like them but they are pretty expensive this thing was like ten dollars for two cartridges so i will probably use that for a little while and then go back to something cheap 
I got a new garlic press because if you saw my what's for dinner, you saw that I broke my other garlic press with my bare hands in the middle of filming. So I needed a new one. I picked this OXO one. It was around $10 and it looks heavy duty and most important thing is is that it is dishwasher safe because i almost bought one that was not dishwasher safe and i prefer if things are dishwasher safe i got strawberry cake one of the main things they went for because lily wanted strawberry cake for her birthday and then we got cream cheese frosting which i am going to dye pink with some gel ice gel food dye that i have and then i got an ankle support a couple weeks back a month or so ago I rolled my ankle and I did it again and I'm just not being careful and I feel like having a better ankle support besides the one that I bought at Dollar Tree would be good at least for when I'm walking around the house just to kind of stabilize my ankle and help it heal. It's pretty much better but every once in a while I'll do something like stand up on my tippy toes and like overextend my ankle and it just does not feel the greatest so we're gonna get one of these and hopefully that helps me heal and then we got this headband for lily from the dollar spot it was only a dollar and i thought it was super cute for fourth of july and stuff and that was everything we bought today so if you're trying to guess totals and stuff i'm not going to include the shirts in that total but this stuff and the chair and the tote was everything we bought at Target today. And then I'll show you the shirts that we got. I got these shirts because of Paisley over at Paisley Bradley. She shared some hauls recently and made me want to buy some stuff. And they were like on sale. Some of them were on clearance. Um, but they had good like deals. Um, none of these shirts were more than $10 I don't think. What do the tags say? Yeah, this is $8, but I'm pretty sure they were like 7 a piece or something. And then one of them was on clearance for like 6 I think. So we got this one. It's lavender with white stripes. Super cute. Um, yeah, I really like it. And then we got the same shirt, but just in plain white. And then this next one is different. This one is Universal Thread. It doesn't have the price on there, but I think this is around the same price. I know Paisley had this exact one in one of the hauls, and I just love the colors of it. Uh, you can't, I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, there's like a pale pink, an orangey, and a white, and then the gray and like mustardy color. Love that. Looks super retro, like 70s to me. So I got that. Got a white bralette because I only have a black one and I've been wanting a light colored one and then a black tank top that was everything I think most expensive thing was the bralette I think this was like $15 which I feel like is cheap if it's a nice bralette the one that I have now the black one is from Torrid and it's like $30 and I would love another one but I don't want to pay $30 for another bralette I bought it on Black Friday so I got it for half price then but Every time they have sales that are on Black Friday, I've noticed like the bralettes are not included in the sales. So, haven't picked up another one because I don't want to pay $30 for a bralette. But that is those shirts. Let me know if you want links to any of these and I can send you the links. Um, but I'm not going to link them unless you guys actually want them because that takes a lot of time. So, just let me know and then I can send them to you. Um, but that is it for the stuff from Target. Okay, here is everything from Aldi. And I've got Lily pointing at this stuff. So over here we have some raspberry lemonade. I talk about this every time that I get it. It's delicious and they really only have it in the spring and summer. I got an orange juice. Did not get any milk this week. You may notice because I got some from some family members that had gotten a food box from a food pantry. And they don't really drink milk, so they gave me the milk. So we did not need milk. I got name brand Coca-Cola for Andy this week because my Aldi does not have a spot anymore for the Aldi brand cola. The Aldi brand 12 pack is usually like $2.45 and they didn't have it. They had a spot for Fago cola and they did have it in stock too. And it's more expensive than the Aldi brand. It was exactly $3. And the name brand Coca-Cola is $4. And I didn't know if Andy would like the Fago one. So I didn't risk it. And I just got him name brand Coca-Cola this week. Got some heavy whipping cream. The kids each got one of these nacho cheese dip and salsa Lunchables. That's like a special treat for them. They hardly ever get Lunchables. 
Got some queso fresco. I'm gonna make some Mexican street corn. And um, it called for cojita. Is that how you say it? Cojita cheese. But Aldo doesn't carry that. <laughs> and so, you okay? Yeah. And so online it said an alternative you could use was queso fresco or feta cheese. So I decided to try it with the queso fresco. We got some Parmesan cheese, some Canadian bacon, some pico, two things of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Got two things of crescent rolls. Those will be for our sausage roll up things. Got some frozen blueberries, some mini cucumbers, some limes, mini sweet peppers, a big long English cucumber. Got some broccoli and a thing of shrimp. Got some romaine lettuce, a big old watermelon. Hopefully I picked a big good one. Um, it said the round ones are sweeter and then you're also looking for like a nice yellow spot and some of this like brown like webbing on it. So I grabbed the one with the biggest yellow spot and brown webbing that I could find that was also round. So I will let you guys know if we picked a good one. Um, it's the first time I'm trying like those tips. Usually I just pick one and don't really know how to pick it so we'll see if those tips were good we got some corn we got some crispy onions these were like an impulse purchase i was waiting in line and i was in that like special finds aisle waiting in line and i grabbed crispy garlic pepper onions they sounded good maybe on a burger or a salad like it says so I'm gonna try those got some more long grain and wild rice got the original and the garlic and herb we like both of those got some applesauce just the regular unsweetened one and then we got these apple chips to try original and cinnamon flavored i make these sometimes in the um dehydrator but i saw these and elijah wanted to try them he's been asking me to make some and this was easier than making them right now so maybe we'll make some again in the future Got three of our favorite marinara, this Priano marinara sauce, absolute favorite, and then I can reuse the jars. And then the kids each picked one box of cereal bars, Lily picked the apple cinnamon, and Elijah picked the blueberry, because Lily does not like the blueberry. We got some sugar, mini chocolate chips, some brown sugar, I was out of like baking stuff, got some corn muffin mix. And some mini non, not mini, just regular non flatbreads. We're going to use these for our pizza that we have for lunch on Lily's birthday. And then we've got some wheat bread, two things of eggs, some napkins, three things of tissues. One of those is going to go in the car and the other two for the house. And then I've shown these in the past. These are our favorite masks for the kids. Um... And they had it marked down to $1.99, so I bought the two that they had. They had this one, which Lily actually already has, but it's okay. She can use another one. And we got this owl one. And since we're going on vacation, having extra masks on hand will be perfect. But that is everything that I got at Aldi. That is going to be it for my haul this week. I feel like I was kind of all over the place with having the kids involved, but you know, lately they rarely want to be involved when I'm filming. I knew you guys always said that you miss them, so I was happy to have them help today, even if it was a little chaotic to me. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will have the totals here on the screen. I know with like everything that I shared, it's kind of hard to make guesses, but if you did want to guess, all the totals will be here on the screen for everything that I got. As always, make sure you are scanning your receipts so you get your points on Fetch Rewards. I'm about to go do that now so I don't forget because I'm really bad about forgetting. So I'm gonna go do that. And if you haven't signed up already, my link is down below so you can sign up and get some bonus points and help me and get some bonus points. Super easy to use. All you do is download the app and then take pictures of your receipts when you go shopping or link your email. And when you do online shopping, they'll Go, you can press the button and it'll scan your email for e-receipts and you can still get points for shopping even if you don't shop in store so super easy and then you can cash out those points for gift cards which is super awesome it's basically free money so i'm all about liking free stuff as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye